Welcome back, you dirty scumbags. Today we're gonna be <laughs> making a video about coffee. New York City is the city that never sleeps. And it's not just because of the flashing lights and honking horns, it's also because of the nearly 1,000 cups of coffee the average New Yorker drinks per year. That's nearly three cups a day. And with all the busyness of New York, most New Yorkers don't get an opportunity to go sit and enjoy a coffee in a cafe, let alone a specialty cafe. But as a specialty coffee lover, I wanted to change that and introduce specialty to as many people as I physically could. And as a YouTuber, I wanted to quiz them and see if they could tell the difference between the cheaper coffees and the more expensive coffees I'm bringing. So today we are heading to Washington Square Park to see if New Yorkers not only like specialty coffee, but if they can tell the difference between expensive and not so expensive specialty coffee. And to accomplish this, I invited my close friend Donnie, also known as the Barefoot Barista. New York City, the beacon of hope, the Big Apple, the coffee capital of the US. To help me set this up and conduct these interviews. We made it. We're here. Now we gotta find a spot to not be to totally not, shady yeah. and conspicuous. Although we're in New York City, so I Everyone think as long as we mind our own business, yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Washington Square Park, one of New York City's finest and most luscious places to hang. <laughs> oh, this is pretty sweet. I can't believe what a lovely day we picked to do this. Yeah, dude, we're chilling. This is pretty. See? See? And you were worried. I was worried. Brew some coffee. Let's brew some coffee. And to help us brew this coffee today, we're using this video's sponsors, Xplume. Xplume is not only sleek and beautiful, but it offers you the ability to brew industry standard quality coffee all from the skin of a pot. You like one? Oh, I do. I'm a big fan. Xplume features some of the highest quality coffee roasters from across the nation. Ooh, that see that logo? Baby. See that baby? <laughs> They've made it dummy proof. I really appreciate that. You can simply scan, grind, brew, and Xplume will take care of the rest of it. And they send them to you full bean and are ground fresh per scan. Meaning you're never gonna lose the flavor of your coffee and you'll always get to know exactly what the roaster intended. Leaving you the opportunity to sit back and enjoy the lovely park sounds. And for Donnie and I to learn how to talk to strangers. Free coffee. Free coffee for anybody who wants it. Under the conditions that you would let me interview you. Excuse me, miss. She's on her phone. Never mind. We oh, just want to be in a video. Yeah, no, 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 let's do it. You want to be interviewed? Right. You don't mind? Yeah, it don't matter. Come on, let's do it. All right, let's go. All right. One more coffee going, so it'll take about five more minutes. You want to come back around? I bet. I'll be back. Hey, <laughs> do you want to be in a video? Actually, I'm just curious. What's your name? I'm T. Emily. Nice to meet you. Kunlay. Kunlay. Nice to meet you. My name is Rahul Nag and I'm from India. Nice to meet yeah. you, Rahul Nag. Larry. Hi, Larry. I'm Larry the Birdman. Larry, you love birds. Look at all these yeah. birds. T, what do you do? Are you a student? Or I'm a student. What yeah. do you study? Um, I study integrative design at Parsons, but I'm a jewelry designer. That's awesome. What do you do in New York City? Well, I'm a dancer and I also take photos and videos. Like, I'm a video editor too. Oh, I love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I make the best of New York and, you know, in the dance community and stuff like that. I'm sure coffee is something you drink a lot. It is. Do you drink coffee? First question? Yes, I do, but okay. it's, it's of course the first thing in the morning, but not often. Use it as a caffeine driver to wake up? Yeah, that's right. But not for flavor? No. Kunle, do you drink coffee? All the time. You're a coffee drinker? Or do you normally drink coffee? Yeah. What's your favorite kind of coffee? Um, what do you drink? Let's, let's, what kind of coffee do espresso. you go out? Espresso. I love that you said that. Okay. Espresso is my favorite. What is your go to coffee drink? Oat latte. Oh, shit. I don't really know. I think oat is goat. What, your, what's your normal go-to drink? Uh, like when it comes to coffee? Yeah, what do you normally go for? Yeah, I just go for like plain coffee. That's it most of the time. Nice. Yeah. Nice, that's what we got today. I literally just get black coffee. I just love the taste of coffee. Black coffee's the best thing. <laughs> do you drink specialty coffee? Where do you normally go for coffee? Um, Starbucks or Starbucks. Hey, or do you get the blonde roast? Have you ever had coffee that has been considered specialty or like has a bunch of crazy flavors and you're like, whoa, that's not for me, but it's good? Or not really? Uh, yeah, I really, uh, I, I actually like like vanilla. I, I buy that espresso, you know, the, the stuff in the yellow can. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Do you ever drink coffee black? I do, but only no, when, done, when like, Santa. when my friend has like a thing. I don't know what the fuck it's called. It's like the clear thing that like just drips oh, like coffee. Oh, um, uh, Chemex. But then I'll drink black coffee. Gotcha. But then I put a 
Kind of sugar in it. So. Today we actually have two black coffees. Great. So no milk, no sugar. Great. This coffee has no sugar. Unadulterated coffee, just the way that it is. But it's like drinking a cup of tea and like exactly. I don't know, people like tea, so I get that people like coffee. exactly. Do you want to try some coffee? I would love to. Um, so we'll just give you a little bit, and if you want more, you can take more. We're gonna give you two cups of coffee. Donnie's gonna mix match them. If you're good at notes, like if you can, if you're like a wine person or something, you can put flavor notes. In. I'm so not a wine Thrill person. But that's okay, me. I, like, can I go on appearance too? You can try, and okay. they are different colors, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. These are for you. Take both. So we have two expensive-ish coffees. One's medium expensive, one's very expensive. And I was wondering if you would taste them, tell me what you think of both, and then pick which one you think costs a little bit more money. Take your time. I'll add the drum roll with the, the dramatic effect here in the edit. And I'm gonna go for the second one now, let's see. Okay. Both taste like coffee? Surprise! They're tequila. Tastes really good. Yeah? Yeah? Are you picking up on any flavors or body, yeah, acidity, like, anything like really that? Sweet. Really sweet. This one is like, I mean, they're both gonna be bitter, but yeah, yeah. I don't know. Coffee actually um, contains caffeine, which <laughs> we know. Caffeine is naturally bitter. Okay. I feel it's much more lighter, this one. Okay. But I feel like a little harder. So this is. Sure. Yeah, so this is more like a little hard. I really like this one. Okay, so that's your preference. Uh, but that's. It has just a lot of flavor. I don't know, they both taste good. I feel like this is like more right. flavorful, it like has more like depth to it's it. Um, it has a full mouth feel, I don't know. Ooh. This one's definitely more expensive. It's more expensive? Uh, do you want to, is that your final guess? It's okay, you can take your time. We got three sips. I actually, I actually like the first one better. You like the first one more? Yeah. Uh, when it comes to the expensive one, I also do think it's the first one. You think it's the first one? Yeah. So that one's more expensive, that one's cheaper, but you like this one more. Okay, so now you think that one's more expensive and you like it more. Let's go! Probably this one. You think it's more expensive yeah, or cheaper? more. And I think this one's more expensive. It is more like blendy mm -hmm. and this is more raw. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, that one has a lot more of like the fruit acidity to it, but it's yes. still like a chocolatey coffee. Yeah. Whereas the other one kind of is, a, I think, a more oh, traditional. Bland. Yeah. yeah. You can look under the bottom if you want to see. I think you're right. Really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. You got it right. Oh, yeah. You have a good palate. Okay. Thank you. Hey, you got it right. Oh, There's no yeah. prize, but you did get it right. Yeah. Um, you get to continue to enjoy some good You get coffee. to keep drinking the coffee. <laughs> That's awesome. Let me see the bottom. Ooh, that is the cheaper one. But, they, but oh. what's, what's interesting about this is the, the more expensive one, wow. I thought, tasted a lot lighter. Yeah, it did. Yeah, isn't that weird? Yeah, it, this one tastes lighter than this one. If you had to pick one forever, which one would you pick? Probably this one. Um, no, this one's more money. Guess what? You got it right. I got it right. You got it right. You have a good palate. Oh, my God. Yeah, that one yeah, is... um. That is a really incredible coffee from uh, Diego Bermudez, who's an incredible coffee producer. Um, does a lot of really interesting experimental stuff. Has really crazy flavors. We actually kind of brewed it a little on the lighter side, but it's a unique coffee. It's so good, it's so good right? Yeah. Would you say that you would go for something like this more often, or that you kind of like that oat I like profile? this one better. Because it would fit better yeah. with milk. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And sense. I like milky coffee. Which they, one do you like better? Personally, I tend to favor this side. Uh, would you drink more coffee like this more often? Yeah. Yeah. I would definitely. I, I would buy one of these. Actually, this machine's pretty cool too. You, you buy the pods, and the pods come with whole bean, and then you scan it, and the, the roaster has a recipe that then gets screwed into the coffee so that the roaster can tell you what, or you can change it. Do you have a favorite bird? No. They're all, gonna, they're all your babies. All That's the secret move, is to dump them together. What? Put your hand out. Do you guys like coffee? Do you have a preference of high expensive coffee or cheap coffee? Uh, Park Mounties are coming. It's so funny that like they would come when you went to go like the sanitize your arm. Yeah, because I was like, oh my god, oh my god, I need Emily. Don't walk in the bad luck spot. Oh, that's right, that's right, that's right. Don't walk not in the bad luck spot. Dude, what the heck? What the heck? You, you know. paid it. You paid the thing. It happened because we were having too good of a run. 
you know? Yeah. So in conclusion, it seems like people in New York will like pretty much any coffee so long as there's caffeine in it. But I'm actually really surprised how many people were able to identify correctly the coffees that would cost more money. I wonder if I made it a little too easy on them. Before I go, I wanna thank the sponsor one more time, X Bloom. They actually reached out to me and when they did, I got really excited because I've been following this project and I really believe in what they're trying to do. As a coffee professional, one of the most invaluable tools to your journey in coffee is consistency. Being able to brew a consistent cup of coffee and change one variable from the other, say it's grind size or water temperature, while locking in all the others, will completely revolutionize your understanding of coffee. And as a coffee educator, I can get behind that. If you guys have a chance, you should go check them out down in the description below. And if you wanna check out Donnie, or maybe donate so he gets some money back from his boot, you can go down below as well. And you can check out all the people that we interviewed today. I have all of their Instagrams, except for Larry, who is kind of an enigma and doesn't have an Instagram. And if you're not done hanging out with me yet, you can always watch another video and, oh, hello. One just popped up right here. What a coincidence. What are the odds that that would happen? Cheers, you dirty scumbags.